I'm starting to get lost again. That that Alfred woman is gonna get cross next time she like. Next time I come home, she's gonna be like, "You should come home early." Where's that like little? Where's that? I I never tried that little passageway to see if it like is open now. The one near where's the slot house or whatever. So, okay, it's near here. I know it's near here. Um, there it is. Okay, let's try down here. Okay, oh, something's happening. What is it? What's happening? What's happening? <gasps> Did I find it? Did I find what I'm... Oh my god, look at these guys. What's gonna happen? Oh, no, he, he's not gonna let me pass. Get out of my he's way. Oh, yeah, see, this is mad Rio now. What? Not nice, Rio. We're, it's Dirty Harry time. Oh, this is like... Oh, I, I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you guys thought you could beat me. Is this the Heartbeats bar? Oh, it is. And oh, look. Look. I found it. I found it. I'm not a bad Shenmue player. I found it. Brilliant. Okay, well, we're... We're on the road now. I'm gonna have to cut out so much though of that like wandering around waiting for the time to start again. Hey there, okay. Now say hey hello sailor. <laughs> there you go! Milk's perfect for a schoolboy, I'd say. <laughs> hello, sailors. That's brilliant. Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What I'm you, some kind of TV detective or something. Back off. Who's this guy with the dopey you hat? Punk. Oh my god, he's like Sid. I'll get you. That's <laughs> brilliant. Oh my god, this is so You're fun. Stupid. This is fantastic. I did press B. I pressed B. Wait a second, I pressed B. I'm back to try my luck again. Are you gonna give me milk Welcome. again? Okay, I've seen go. this. Milk's perfect for a schoolboy, I've seen I'd this. Say. Okay, A and I was I pressed B that time that that dope tried to Are hit me with the sailors? chairs. Maybe. I'm looking I like the way it's really fast, Chinese like though that, that that since I Boy, failed, they let me try again. TV detective or something. Back off, you little punk. Okay. Okay, I got it. You're stupid. Okay. Boom! Okay, I got it that time. This is like Road Avenger. That's it's fantastic. Enough. You put on quite a show, boy. Yeah. I'm now give me a proper drink. A Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Why? Look for a guy named Charlie. 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 Okay. He Charlie. deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. Where do I you find this know guy? should about the Chinese cartel. It's a tall cartel! They're trying to make us look like bad he dads! <laughs> hog? Try what? Asking at the motorcycle oh, shop Hog! Him. Okay! He, like? <laughs> he always wears shades and a black <laughs> He loves his hog! I was like, what's a hog? He's got a tattoo on his arm. <laughs> hog. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. That was so fun. I loved this. Like the, I loved all those little interspliced mini games, like the, like the, the, the snooker one, well, the billiards one, and the. That like bar fight was great fun. I love that. It's like Road Avenger. I keep saying it's like Road Avenger because Road Avenger is like this, is this um. Is this game that my uncle had on the Sega CD that was a driving game? But the way you play it is you just like. It's one of those games where, um. It's one of those games where you just, uh. Like, a, a button will flash up on screen. Where is Charlie? This is the knocking motorcycle shop. I'm right here. Can I not go in here at night? This is it. Let me in. Little pig. Why can't I go in? Those guys are gone now, but I can't go in. 
this is his howl. But like basically Road Avenger, what would happen is you'd have a view of them of a guy driving along, like a first person view. Well, in not the, yeah, and then like you'd have to push the button that flashes up on screen. Okay, he's not here. Where, but where, like, can, do I have to wait for it to be daytime now? That's just this guy. Like, what's with all these drunks roaming the streets? It's like Raccoon City, only zombies wandering around. Um, maybe he went into the jazz bar. I'm just gonna try there. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish. There's that guy. Oh, he, he's drunk. And he's, just, <laughs> he's drunk now. Um. I'm gonna see if the, those like, cause those biker guys were just outside the knocking motorcycle shop, the knocking shop, just a while ago. But um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna finish recording soon. No, they're not in here. I'm gonna finish recording. Um, um hey there. yeah. Does any guy by the name of Charlie come here? Yeah, that's he biker like? guy. He wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. What a arm. weird like side like profile. That don't come here. Is that so? Okay. Yeah, this is quite a nice place. I wouldn't mind going here. It seems nice. Not like that Heartbeats bar. That Heartbeats bar looked like the biggest shithole going, like. But, um... Okay, we, we'd better start heading home. I'm gonna finish recording here now. So that Charlie guy is obviously that guy who I keep, like, running, having run-ins with, or whatever. Um... Let me see. Should I, I? Oh my god, look at this guy. What's up with you? He's just having a sit down. He got tired. Just sitting down for a rest. Um, okay, I think it's time to save and go to sleep. To go to save and go to, to go to sleep and save, actually. I think it's time to finish up here because, like, I, I, I need to get like I, I feel like I've played like enough, you know, that kind of way for this session, you know. And even though I'll have to cut like a lot of it out because of the, the time I had to spend like wandering around, I still have, like I think I still have about an hour of footage, which is quite good, you know. So that I think that I don't like I don't want to get bored, you know? well not bored. I just I don't want the videos to become boring because I run out of commentary to say or something. No, that's just going back the way we we came. I don't want it to get boring just because of me, do you know, that kind of way. And I feel like we've had some fun, like, fun, like, we've had some fun times here in this recording session, you know? So, like, next time, well, no, don't start saying next time, no. We'll have to go back up to that house and that stupid Alfred woman is gonna be like, okay, so that was a big miss. I just wasted a load of time by going to sleep that last time. I should have just gone... Like, uh, next time I play this game, I'll know to go straight to the- Is the cat awake, I wonder? I have that milk for it's the cat. It's getting really late. I know. I have that milk for the cat as well. I wonder if it's awake now. Is it awake? Are you cold? There, there. Good kitty. I want to- How do I my I, I don't want this cat to die. I really don't. But I don't know what to do. I have milk for it, but I don't know how to give the milk to the cat. Um, but yeah, I feel we've had like a good time here today, you know, on this recording session of Let's Play Shenmue Blind. And like, I am really enjoying this game, and it's so fun. Like, I feel like. Like, I feel like it's the kind of game I really... Like, I keep saying this, but it's definitely feeling like a kind of a Sunday afternoon when it's raining kind of game. Joe, that kind of... Just sit back, relax, get a cup of tea, play some Shenmue, you know? Get lost in the world, you know? Because it really seems to put a lot of emphasis on just... Immersing yourself in the actual environment in which the game is set. Because otherwise there wouldn't be that emphasis on like oh you can buy a, 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 a can of coke oh you can um get these things out of this machine oh you can go into the shop and you can buy whatever you want so that kind of way like it's just really it just seems really kind of good that way you know okay i'm gonna have to sneak in past that alfred lady i don't want to get get look at her moany face telling me what to do okay what do i want to do i want to sleep Oh, oh, he never puts on his pajamas. He those jeans must be so stinky, like in those underwear. 
and those socks and whatever, because he just wears this, and that t-shirt. I'm surprised he doesn't have big, like, sweat stains on that t-shirt, like, from, like, all the... Since he doesn't, like, do anything, except, like... Okay, can we, like... So, I, I just have to leave and then go back, is it? Let's just have a better look, because I don't think I gave, like, a prop... Maybe we, we can open... Um... Wait a second, I want to have a look. Is, is there more stuff we can do in this... Place? Like, can we... Oh, cool! Can we... What's this? Oh, it's a cassette! What is it? Shenmue! Okay, so that must be like the soundtrack to the game or something. Wait, no, I'm not finished yet. I wanted to. What about this lamp? Oh, cool! Yeah, that Alfred woman will come and be like, Stop wasting the electricity! We all will get depressed! Oh, cool, and we can open these drawers. Yeah, see, I knew there must have been some. Does that say homo? Al no, home album. Like, I knew there must be more stuff we can do in this, because, like, we, like. Who's that? What's this called? Like, wait, you, I, I get the idea. Shawa. Shawa. It sounds like shower. Shawa. Like, shawa. Okay, what about the next one up? No, I've already turned on the lamp. This one. Ooh, look, a picture of our family. Oh, no, that's our friends. That's me and the guy on the bottom there is the guy with the motorcycle. And that's the girl who works in the flower shop. That's nice. That's really nice. I like that. I don't know what the guy in the back is, who he is, but he's obviously one of our other friends. But, um, that's really nice. Let's try this, um, this top one, see what's in there. Ooh, cassette player. A Sega. Okay, we have like some pencils and biros, a rubber. Um, I don't know what that bottle is. A calculator, a Sega Master System, like something. I have like a cassette player. Okay, I finally found the cassette player. Thank you for not telling me this stuff was here because like obviously people knew, like obviously some people knew that this stuff was here, like the people who played this game. So I want to say thank you for being good viewers and good commenters and not telling me that stuff was there because that, that's the kind of stuff I want to find myself, you know, Tr through my own wits, you know. I wonder if you can open these as well and there might be other stuff in there. Can I find something for the cat actually? Um, like, a, a, a blanket or something. Oh, there's my socks and underwear. Maybe you should change those. No wonder there's so much clean socks and underwear in there when you never change them. T-shirts. What, lo uh, loads and loads. You can never have enough white belts, Helga. <laughs> For Rio, you can never have enough white t-shirts, Helga. You can, <laughs> you can never have enough blue jeans, Helga. What's in the bottom? You can never have enough Eric Clapton magazines and Chinese man magazines and Italia magazines. Helga. What about the what about the cabinet? I haven't checked that yet. Helga. You can never have enough big white belts. I just love that when he says that to her. It's so funny. Like, he's like, remember that. You can never have enough big white belts. <laughs> like, who says that? Okay, I still think that that looks like a cassette in there. Is that another cassette I can get? Or is it a book? And this, like, Ranson or whatever it is. Okay, well... What about the blazing? I saw, I saw a bin. Anything in there? No, I didn't want to open. Ooh, wait, and there's another. There's some boxes here. Okay. But look, I've explored the room. I found some more things. Okay, well, that's interesting. I'm just gonna go back out. And go back in again so I can save and turn it off. Okay, so I, like. But wait a sec, wait a sec. No, not that this. Cassette player. 
Um, what's this sound like? Oh my god, that's so nice! That's the music that's in that video I was telling you about, the medley. That's the music I heard in it. That's really pretty. And it reminds me of this, like, ad, you know, like on those relaxation tapes. Like, those those musics, that, those, like, CDs that are, like, music for meditation. And there was this ad that I used to keep hearing this this tune on it and it like it goes da 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 dum ba 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 da 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 dum ba da 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 dum like that and that's what this is reminding me of it sounds really like it I love it that's so good what does this sound like is this like gonna be the team tune or something This game has really nice music. I don't think I kind of stress enough how much how much I like the music because the music's really cool. Like I think like it, the music generally seems to be really atmospheric when you're just walking around, but that's to be expected. But the music that's like kind of when it gets to the point where like the music has to be kind of big and cool, then it does get big and cool. Do you know that kind of way? And I love that. So, thus ends another recording session of Let's Play Shenmue Blind. I know there was a lot of wandering around, and it took me so long to tell that story about the rage. But, um, so yeah, I have Jet Set Radio, Skies of Arcadia, and Resident Evil Code Veronica now, so... I, I, I tried, like, Jet Set Radio, and I love it. It's fantastically fun, so... I'm gonna try- I'm gonna probably play some more of that today, since I have time off, so... Yeah, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Shenmue Blind. Thanks a million for watching, guys, and bye.